Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get uh, Oblivion for the PC without buying it. So, just going to show you how to download it. Programs you're going to need are Demon Tools Pro. Um, the reason for getting this program, or really any of the Demon Tools, is it makes it your computer think there's a disk in your drive even though there isn't. You're also going to need uTorrent to download it, and then Oblivion is what we're going to end up downloading. Um, just to prove that it's worth your time to watch, I'll click this real fast. See, it works. Okay. And uh, also, there's no disk in it. Alright. So go open up your internet. And then put in this code, this uh, thing. Save for a second so you can see it. It'll also be in the description, so I'm not going to wait too long. But, uh, just search that, it'll be the top one. Um, you'll come up to, no, don't do that, my bad. Just put that in the address bar. But, uh, the link, it'll be in the description. Alright, and it'll bring you up to here. Go to downloads. And demon tools. Close any pop ups or whatever. Uh, it'll just say Demon Tools Pro. Just uh, click download. Save it. I'm going to cancel it because I don't need it. I already have it. That's all you're going to do, and you'll get Demon Tools. Don't open it or anything. Just install it. Um, that's all you have to do. Alright, then we're going to get. Go to Google again. And you're going to put uturrent.com spelled it wrong uh, don't go to the one that's like download free exclamation point just go to the one that actually says uturrent.com click the link wait for it to load alright then hit get uturrent And then a thing will pop up in a minute here. Okay. Mm and you'll just, it'll give you a download link. I'm not going to do it because I don't need it. I already have it. Alright. And then after you, uh, you don't have to open it right now, but I'm just showing you. Um, if it would open. I don't know why my computer's going to get. Oh, yeah. It's down here. Alright. Um,. Completed the Elder Scrolls Oblivion is right here. Um, 100%. It's 4 gig. It took me almost two days to download it, so it can take a little while. All right, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna go to after you have uTurrent installed and the other one installed, you're gonna go to um, crap, where to go? Oh well, oh well. Um, the link will be in the description. But you go to um, piratebay.com. Just go to it. Oh, I accidentally clicked join. Just go to piratebay.com. Don't click join like I did. Okay. See? And then you go to. Uh, you just. You can join, you don't have to. I'll put the link in the uh, side thing. Hold on, let me figure out the exact link. All right, I got the exact link now. I'll uh, paste it in up here. There you go. You can see it. It'll be. It'll also be in the description. So just uh, yeah. But yeah, just go to it. And wow, that wasn't supposed to ha happen. Hold on. Uh, one second. I gotta reload my internet. Okay, um, just for you guys, um, here's Notepad. I'm gonna put the uh, link in here so you can read it. Hold on, that's a little too big. Go to 14 font. Alright, it's http colon backslash backslash the pirate bay dot org backslash torrent three eight three three four seven eight backslash 
the underscore elder underscore scrolls underscore four underscore oblivion. It'll also be in the description. Okay. So once you get there, it'll look like this. Um, and then you just scroll down, click download this torrent, and it'll open it. Just hit save. It doesn't matter what this is. Just hit save. And then save to your desktop. It'll only take two seconds and it'll be finished. Shrink this. It'll be here. Double click it, it'll open. In uTorrent, I already have it downloaded so it won't uh, download again, but that's all you have to do. And it'll start downloading. It could be anywhere from. Uh, hold on. Well, it'll tell you, but um, it'll say like. Um, it won't just say an hour or whatever. It'll say. It'll start off at like a week and then it'll go down to a few days and it. Doesn't I don't really know if it's exactly right or not, but it took me about two days. So, and if you have AOL, you can't do this really. So, but um, that's pretty much how you get it. And then once it's downloaded, um, what you do is you're going to get in my documents and downloads. It will be this: the Elder Scroll, Elder Scrolls for Oblivion. You open it, and you sh you uh, should have all these files, all right? And you're just gonna open any one of the book things. You need WinRAR for that. Uh, RARLabs.com if you want, if you don't have it. Then you just um, it'll pop up this. Click it, hit extract to. Don't change the path, and hit OK. I'm gonna cancel, but you hit OK. Okay. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna open up Demon Tools Pro, and it'll come down here, right? So then you're going to right click on it, no. you're going to left click on it, and hit the bottom thing here, it'll say 3.0, whatever, no media. Click that, it'll open this, and it'll say um, RLD-TES4. Double click it, and it says it's on. Right? Now, it'll pop up this, but it'll say install and stuff for you. For me, it says play because I already have it installed. But just to show you what that program does, Demon Tools, now it says I have a disk in Oblivion. When I don't. So that's that. And then just uh, whenever you want to play it, I can't get the icon to work. I don't know if it's something I did or what. But uh, whenever you want to play it, just click this again, right click, or normal click. And then just click it, it'll say Oblivion. Click it. Hit OK, or click on this, hit OK, it'll start playing, and then just give it a second and it'll pop this up. Um, later on I'll show you how to get mods, and this is where you turn them on, you just click them on, and it turns them on, or off, but uh, that's that, and I hope you enjoy, and comment, rate, subscribe.